Good afternoon, good morning, whatever it may be. This is Brandon. Um, we're back at it again with another review video and we're actually gonna be doing another projector. So that's exciting. Why don't we go ahead and get right into it? So, what bam what bing what bam Look at that. We got the Boomaker Home Theater and this is the C9 model. So, this is again, Boo from Boomaker. Uh, we got a nice little box with the carrying handle right here. says screen mirroring, higher brightness, better color calibration, and hi-fi sound. So those are all good things to hear. Um, let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy, see what we got inside here. Uh, so we open it up here and we actually got some nice foam protection for the projector itself. So we're gonna go ahead and slide it on out right here. We'll put that off to the side, see what other things we got inside of here. So we got this and you already know what I'm gonna do with that. Oh, that actually landed. That was pretty cool. So uh, we got this little box right here, cardboard box. Uh, we have a remote, uh, kind of similar to the one that we got in the other projector review video. Um, you can go ahead and check that one out in the description below as well. If you want to see another projector review video. Um, so we got a remote right here, you know, just a standard little fancy remote, uh, not, nothing too special. Um, we'll set that off to the side right here. Uh, in our first goodie bag, we have a, what seems to be, yes. So let me just make sure it is HDMI not display port. So yes, it is an HDMI cable. That is what we got inside of that. We'll go ahead and put that off to the side. Uh, we have some standard red, white, and yellow cables right here. It looks like an auxiliary, nice, an auxiliary input right here. So we'll put off to the side. looks like for audio. Um, we have this little screw thingy majigger. Not sure what that is going to be used for. Probably a mount of some sort, but we're going to have to look at the projector later. Uh, we have a nice little fabric cloth microfiber to wipe the lenses. I'm assuming, um, we got the user manual in here. Uh, we got the screen mirroring part of it. It looks like, uh, Yep, so this is just an instruction booklet on how to handle everything in different languages. The user manual. Uh, what nice too, this comes with a warranty card so you can register the product in case anything goes wrong. And it looks like we have a thank you card. So yeah, we go ahead and set that off the side. Um, we're gonna take our projector out of its lovely protective shipping format. So it's on this side. We're gonna toss our two things. What we got now, is our fancy smancy projector. Um, it's pretty small, as you can tell. I'm just gonna hold it up to my face right here. You know, maybe you can get that for a size difference, you know. There you go. So this is advertised as a home theater projector. So as you can see on screen right now, I have pulled up the screen right here. So this is just a couple little product images and whatnot. It comes at a price of $139 and it's advertised as 1080p. So there we go. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a, a kind of turnaround here of the projector to show you what it's really about. Two HDMI in cables, a headphone port, we have the AV port, and two USBs. We're going to have to flip it over this side. We have our switches right here, but again, we also have a remote so we can use that. A uh, nice little lens cover, and I'm assuming that's for the remote, the IR blaster right here. Nice little lo logo, Boom Maker. Um, on this side, we have the input for power. And on the back right here, we have a VGA and another IR camera blaster for the remote in case the remote is from the back and not the front. So we're gonna go ahead and take off this lens cover right here, see what this bad boy looks like under side. So it's not a twist off, you just pull off. I was twisting it for no reason. Um, nice, big, powerful lens, as you can see. Well, bam, looks like you're looking in a freaking black hole. I'm just messing with you guys. All right, so I actually found out what that uh, little screw is. It's to adjust the angle of the projector. So you would screw it in right here like so, and that way it you know angles it up or down like so. If it's if you can't adjust the uh, angles of the video inside the settings enough, you can always just 
point it up a little bit. So I'm gonna bust out the projector screen and then I'm gonna go ahead and hook this bad boy up and see what we can do. All right guys, so I have now got the projector set up behind me. So I've got my handy dandy little remote here. Um, so this is the opening screen. Um, it asks us to select our language at first, but we selected English. So we have movie, we got music, we got photo, and we got text. So I don't have any devices plugged in currently right now, but we're gonna go ahead and go through the menu settings to see what this has to offer. So if I click M on my remote or on the device itself, it brings us to the menu screen. So we have the language, we can change that, what I just set to English. We have the restore factory default settings, and I'm gonna go ahead and just turn off this light now so you can see what the video quality is like. Put the camera up behind me like so. I'm gonna go ahead and switch that angle now um, so you can see the on-screen action of what's going on with this projector. So we have the blending, uh, which just brings in the background of whatever is being produced. So if I'm playing a game or whatnot and I wanna hit the menu button and still see what's going on, you can do that. Um, it's got the OSC, OSD duration and a software update. It looks like it's through USB. That's all we have for the options. So in the picture settings, we have standard. Uh, we can go ahead and change that to soft, user, vivid, or standard. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it on standard. I'm gonna go back to our menu here. Um, now we go back to picture. So we got color temperature, uh, which is set at to medium. Of course, you can change these. I'm gonna just leave it at medium. Press the menu button to go back. Aspect ratio, you can change it to auto, four, three, or six, nine. We go back. Noise reduction, it's on middle. Um, of course, we can change that. I'm gonna go ahead and just set that as default. So now we have projector direction, so it's on the front table or it's on the ceiling, the front ceiling or the rear ceiling, but obviously we want to be at the front table because that is what we're projecting from. So if we go back to the menu settings, uh, we got the HDMI mode, which is PC or uh, AV, and then we have reduced display size. So if it's too big, you can reduce it down to make it a little bit of a smaller image. Um, and then we have sound for the sound mode. We have standard music, movie, sports, and of, of course the adjustment of the user settings. We got all these hertz that we are able to, you know, tune ourselves to make a little bit be to make it sound better. And then we got auto volume, um, and then a time for sleep timer. So that is nice. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get out of the menu settings here. So what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm actually gonna be connecting my Xbox One to this projector, and then we're gonna play a little bit of video games just to see the quality of the video. So if you give me two seconds, I'm gonna grab the Xbox and I'll be right back. We're gonna go ahead and just play some Minecraft here for you guys. Just so you guys can get a little bit of the video reference for how well this quality actually is. Being that it's not 4K or even 2.4K, uh, it's, Honestly, surprising uh, how well each little individual pixel is uh, producing here. I, it's, I know in some projectors it's not really perfect, but um, for, for this little guy, I mean, it, it's doing its job, that's for sure. All right, so here we are in the Minecraft home screen. The speaker is indeed working on the projector. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that up for you guys real quick using the remote. If I can figure out where I put the remote. All right, so it looks like the volume ranges from zero to 100. We're gonna go ahead and just crank that up. All right, guys, so now that I'm in game, it looks like I do need to adjust my focus just a little bit. That seems to be doing better. So here we are in Minecraft. We're gonna go ahead and just play around for a little bit. We're gonna build ourselves a nice dirt house. Looks like it spawned us on an island right here. And again, this is just for video reference. I don't mean to be playing Minecraft as a let's play video, but I just wanted to get some, you know, nice quality uh, sh video shoots here for this. So as you can tell, I'm actually, you know, I'm actually really impressed with the quality of this, uh, this device here. I know it's just Minecraft, but that doesn't really mean anything. Um, it's all about the textures. And if you could see the pixels within the projector itself, but honestly, I'm not seeing any of that. And it's, it's honestly quite impressive about what this little projector, especially for the price of uh, what it can do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue this just for a little while longer. All 
All right, so there was just a little bit of a sneak peek of the video quality of this projector that we have from Boom Maker. Um, this is the C9 model, uh, just in case you guys are wondering. And on screen again, you will find the price. Um, I'll go ahead and just put it up. Um, I think that's all I'm gonna be doing for this video. Um, there's not much really more I could do. I went over the settings. I gave you just a little bit of uh, gaming little video kind of reference here just to see the quality of it. Um, and it doesn't look like in the settings that you can adjust the keystone or whatnot. I couldn't find out any way to do that. So that's kind of a, just a little bit disappointing on Boom Maker's part. Um, but that's really the only negative uh, I have about this. Otherwise, the adjustment and the wheel that it gives us right there just above the lens does the justice just fine. You're just gonna have to fine tune it by maybe putting things under it or adjusting that front screw, uh, like I said before. Um, but otherwise, thanks guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you and all your time. Why don't you go ahead and just leave a like, uh, so hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.